from the Boston area and I went to Northeastern University, got my mechanical engineering degree and then we went over to Western New England College and got a master's degree in energy management and uh, professional engineering and uh, certification from the state of Massachusetts and also developed some energy programs for some of the colleges in uh, New England. Okay. This week I'm doing a variety of things. I'm teaching a certification course, a certified energy procurement course which was developed about 20 years ago to help people purchase electricity and gas effectively and do contract negotiations. The best program came about from other people in the energy industry wanting to teach a little bit different segment. When we go and we teach the CEM course or the BEP course, it's generally to engineers or people in the energy business. The BEST course was focused more on those who aren't in the energy business, but their actions affect energy usage and cost for corporations. It was originally developed for hospitality, hotels, and casinos in order to take the employees, the everyday employee you see walking through the casino, whether they're actually dealing cards, cleaning rooms, running the HVAC system, helping people and guest services, and showed them a little bit what their actions can do in the casino or in the hotel arena to save energy, water, and thus save money. So we connected what they see every day to the corporation's money. We also let them to show that we can themselves save energy at their homes and thus save money at their homes by knowing these things. It's been very, uh, very successful and um, they really enjoy taking the, the uh, seminar, the BEST course, because it's just something different that they're not accustomed to and we open up their eyes. So it's been uh, very uh, fortunate for us to hear their stories and for us to help them. Um, well, I think though, if they want to get into the energy efficiency uh, business or expenses, they should do a couple of things. They may want to entertain going and working with an energy service company for a while as a, uh, 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 what's the word I'm looking for, a um, student that would go and help for free, no cost, an intern type thing for yeah. a couple of months. Um, find a company that's doing a big project and see if you can assist them as a volunteer just to learn a little bit. A lot of colleges are doing energy efficiency programs and they'd love to have somebody go on and help. Seeing what it is is a, is a great thing. Attending the AWE courses we have in um, seminars and shows around the country, East Coast, West Coast, and the main one in Atlanta. Help you see all the vendors that are out there trying to sell things. And you can come to these classes like we're doing this morning, a session, to learn about different areas you can focus on. And really, at the end of the day, the whole great thing about the Association of Energy Engineers is meeting people and contacting people and talking. And that's true for probably of any association, but if you want to be in the energy business, you want to talk to people. If you like solar thermal, you got to go talk to people who are doing solar thermal, or people involved in the projects. And if the friends of the AWE don't know, they'll tell you the next person who does. So for networking, it's, 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 it's best value. And that's why people should, if they're interested, join a local AWE chapter in their neck of the woods, go there once a month, volunteer to be the treasurer, the secretary. Everybody will know you. Your name appears everywhere. You can talk openly. All those call calls become warm calls. And uh, soon enough, you're on your way. But you've got to go do it yourself. You've got to go out and motivate outside. This isn't a business that's learned on the Internet. It's learned by talking to people, going out and providing value. I like um, the best part is you're saving people money and you're saving the environment second. Uh, unfortunately, in the business world, to survive, we have to show value in saving people money. When we do that, there's a tremendous reduction of CO2, a tremendous uh, increase in sustainability. But at the end of the day, helping people not use fuel and spend that money on other things. I remember one time we did this boiler uh, retrofit in the hospital. We saved five people's jobs because we lowered their oil bill enough to save five jobs. So five people didn't have to go home and tell their wives they were laid off that day. They kept their jobs because we made that boiler more efficient. And that's the one story I'll tell everybody to go home and say, I feel good.